Hey guys, it is Rosalina here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am still here on my solo travel trip in Costa Rica and I decided to wait to do this video until I actually took my trip because it is related to culture and you know like heritage and things like that. So today I am actually going to do an ancestry video. Um, actually, how do I pronounce that? Ancestry video, I believe. But regardless of that, I used the service called 23andMe and I actually purchased this online with my own money. So this is not sponsored. I just actually really, really, really wanted to know my heritage and culture because I am a African American woman living in the United States and most people who are African American in the United States, well I guess African American period, um, most people who are African American already know that being in the States we have virtually no culture at all. Um, at least my family has zero to no culture at all and um, mostly things that you hear that you think you are are usually either made up or word of mouth and I never go by hearsay at all. Um, I feel like most people just make stuff up and I don't believe <laughs> anything until I see proof. So I have been highly, highly, highly interested in taking an ancestry type of test to actually know what culture I am because my whole life um, people have actually like asked me was I black and Asian growing up and I would say no. I used to think because in high school I used to always do like winged eyeliner and stuff like that. People would assume I'm black and Asian because my eyes are already like almond shaped and things like that. Or either people would just ask am I African because my bone structure on my cheeks are very prominent and my lips are big and stuff. Um, I've gotten a lot of things. Even when I was going to Colombia, this dude from El Salvador thought I was Dominican. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I get a lot of things, but you know, um, aside from all the people assuming what I was growing up and asking me, and me having really no answer other than saying I'm black, um, from my actual family members, I would hear, oh, we have Native American, oh, we have some Spanish, and I'm like, where is the proof? Like, everybody in my family only knows the black people, and my parents only have seen, you know, black people of all different shades um, since they've been alive. So basically, I've heard various things in my own family <laughs> that honestly I never believed. I just kind of nodded my head and been like, okay, well, whatever. It really doesn't affect my day to day. But since I do travel a lot and I am extremely, extremely interested in culture and heritage and on top of it being someone with absolutely zero culture or heritage other than the American culture, um, I wanted to actually know what I was. So again, I purchased this with my own money on the 23andMe website and I had gotten my results two weeks ago, but I wanted to wait until my trip to film this video. So here it is. And I am so excited to share with you guys my heritage because I honestly cried when I found out my heritage and it makes me like actually very emotional. Uh, I'm trying to hold back the emotions right now, but it's just, I'll get to it later. I'll get to it later because I'm getting emotional right now. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to get started and um, I've, I have the results on my phone right now. And I'm not really that good with the whole YouTube editing to put it on the screen or anything. I'll try to do as much research as I can when I get back home to figure out how people like hit the results on one side of the screen but if I'm unable to accomplish that I'll try to post the results somewhere um, and even if I don't figure out how to do that just trust what I'm saying like I don't know what else to tell you but I'm telling you the results off of the websites and everything like that of what my heritage is and my culture 
and I'm just so excited to share with you guys so let's get right into it and yes yeah, so I'm just gonna um, start with the top if you guys I hope y'all can see I have on my um, phone case so I don't know if y'all can see my results it looks white in the screen so I'm just gonna start reading my results so I'm gonna try to do this video all in one take um, and it's extremely raw and uncut so well I might have to cut out a few things because you know pauses and breathing and stuttering and stuff but other than that I'm about to just get right into it and let's just start enough talking so all right you guys so it says for me um i am 86.5 percent sub-saharan african and i was like okay okay obviously i'm black like what part of africa am i from you know and on the top of the sub sub Categories, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, the subcategories. Um, on the top of the subcategories, it first says I am 76.3% West African. And in the category of West African, it says I am 29.5% Nigerian, which explains why I love the heat. Um, I hate being cold at all times. I love hot, hot, hot. Um, it can never be too hot for me. I'd rather be hot than cold. So, I don't know. Yes, I am Nigerian. So, since that's on the top of the list, um, basically that is what I am most of out of any other thing I'm about to read off to you guys. So, again, I am 29.5% Nigerian which is so cool to me. I uh, can't wait to visit Nigeria. And um, the people who actually know me in real life know for my 23rd birthday, I wanted to go to the motherland. So I've visited South Africa, Cape Town before. And um, I think for Nigeria, I need to get a visa. So I'm gonna get right on that. Um, and hopefully I could go to Nigeria for my 20 what <laughs> i forgot how old i am for a second this year is so weird to me it's just like i cannot claim i'm 24 for some reason but for my 25th coming up i hopefully will be going to nigeria for my birthday moving on you guys um so after the nigerian it says i am 25.4 percent um and this is like before i read whatever like the category it has three different types of cultures in this category so it says Ga Ghanaian, Liberian and Sierra Leonean if I'm saying that correctly so I assume that's all in like a same similar region so they just kind of group those people together um, and again, that is 25.4% of my heritage. So again, starting with Nigerian, then into the Ghanaian, Liberian, Sierra Leonean, you know? So that is that. And moving downward, it says I am 9.3%, if I can say this correctly, Senegabian and Guanian, Guanian? I'm not really sure how to say these words, I'm sorry. But if y'all know what these places are, y'all can understand. Um, it's still in Africa. I'm assuming all in the same area, because again, this is Sub-Saharan African slash West African, so it's all in West Africa. I'm assuming all in the same local area. Um, just different villages and stuff like that, I'm thinking. So, sorry, I bit my tongue. Anyway, moving on, um, after that, um, I am broadly West African. That's just what it says as 12.1%. So, um, again, I'm assuming all these countries I just named are all in the same West African region. So, 
yeah wrapping up the first main culture of me i am basically west african which is so cool to actually know what tribe and what area of africa i'm from because like i said as black people in the u.s we have zero culture and to actually realize like where your ancestors came from is just so magical to me and i don't want to get emotional so we're gonna move on okay uh, i just i just keep wanting to move on because i want to save all my emotions for the end of the video because it's just very eye-opening for me no matter how many times i read these results i just get emotional so yeah moving on after the west african it is saying i am 7.4 Congonese and Southern East African. So breaking those into categories, it says I am 5.9% Congonese and it says I am 0.6% Southern East African and it says after that I am 1% broadly Congonese and Southern East African. So I don't know I guess it just gave me more details but basically 7.4% Congonese slashed Southern East African there um, and just to recap I'm gonna go over these just so y'all can remember um, starting off basically I am 76.3% West African and right now we're at the 7.4% Congonese and Southern East African, okay? So right now, I'm African. We're still in the whole 86.5% of being Sub-Saharan, you know? And moving on to the other African in me, it says I am 0.1% African hunter and gatherer. So I guess those are my ancient ancestors, like the cavemen of Africa type of stuff going on. Which, I mean, I think we all have that in us. Um, as long as you're from Africa, you have some hunter and gatherer in you. And I don't even know what that means. Let me see if I can open it and it like explains what that actually is. So it says... African hunter and gatherer populations represent some of the oldest and most genetically distinct branches of the human family tree. The historically semi-nomadic San peoples of the Kalari and the closely related Kowi mm, herders in Nambia, Botswana and South Africa speak indigenous languages categorized by click continents. I don't know what that means. Rarely found in any other language families. Other stuff is to be read, but basically you guys get what that is. I guess ancient ancestors of Africa. All right, so moving back on to the other we're wrapping up the african right now and we're moving on to the other stuff so after the hunter and gatherer it is saying i am 0.1 percent northern east african which is sudanese sudanese i'm not really sure what sudanese is but if you guys know what that is that's what i am I doubt you guys want all the details, but if y'all are interested, just pause the video and research them yourself. I'm just going to go over the main points of what I assume people want to hear in this um, video. So moving on after that, this is the last category of African that we're going to cover. It is saying I am 2.6% broadly sub-Saharan African, which... I don't know, it's kind of confusing the way it has it. It says I'm Sub-Saharan African on top, but I guess the broadly Sub-Saharan African is a different type of thing. I don't know. I'm just reading the results, y'all. I'm just reading the results. But basically, that is all of the African in me. Um, again, that is 86.5% Sub-Saharan African. And I just read all the subcategories, so you guys get it, right? All right, so moving on to my other heritage, which I can't um, say is a shock, 
but it says I'm 11.7% European, which I already knew. I didn't know the exact percentage because um, my parents both told me that there were like, I don't know, somebody white eventually in their family, but nobody has had any proof. Nobody has actually saw the white person that they seem to be talking about. They just say that they looked at other people that looked light skinned and I'm like, well, where was the white person? I don't know. No photos, nothing. I don't know. But basically, um, I was kind of in denial that I was white. I mean, it's not a shock because, you know, African American and, um, you know, the history gets kind of, um, you know, it gets a little real. It gets a little ugly, you know, when you think about what happened. But um, I kind of had an idea. I just wasn't for sure that I was mixed with Caucasian. But I'm going to read to you guys exactly how Caucasian I am. So starting off with the top of the list, it is saying that I am 9.6% Northwestern European. Um, and broken down into the categories, it is saying 4.5% British and Irish. 0.7% French and German, and 4.3% broadly Northwestern European. So I guess they just can't really put their finger on exactly what other type of European I am. Um, yeah, uh, so that's that. And underneath the Northwestern European area, it is saying I am 0.7% Southern European, so breaking that into smaller categories, I hope you guys can follow this whole category thing. If you actually have gotten 23andMe, then you actually know what I'm talking about by there being categories and subcategories for those own categories, but just follow me. So um, again, so Southern European, it is saying I am 0.7% and broken down into the categories of that. It is saying, all right, so it is saying I am 0.4% Serranian, Sardanian, I'm sorry, Sardanian, and I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> so I'm gonna look into that. So I'm not really sure, I've never heard of Sardanian. But anyways, moving on to that, it is saying after that I am 0.1% Spanish and Portuguese and I, after that, am 0.2% broadly Southern European. Alright, <laughs> so moving on to the last category of the European in me. It just says I'm 1.5% broadly European, so I guess that's another, you know, I can't put my finger on exactly what European, but they're just throwing that out there for me. Um, again, to in that category, I'm 11.7% European, basically. Um, so yeah, um, I assume that came from slavery because, again, as far back as my parents can remember, they have never seen a Caucasian person in my family above them, um, at least in any photos or anything like that. So I'm just kind of assuming that was because of slavery, because I don't really know where they came from. I have no proof of these people in my family, and I don't know where they are. So yeah. and. We're moving on. <laughs> Alright, so moving on after the European. This is what actually shocked me, you guys. Because growing up, people always asked me, was I black and Asian? And I said no. And this is what made me really, really cry because I found out I actually am Asian. So, getting to that, it may not be the biggest percentage, but it was still a huge shocker to me. So it says I am 1.3% East Asian and Native American. All right. Wow. <laughs> so the first category it is saying I am most of, which is Chinese and Southeast Asian, 0.6%. And breaking those into categories, it is saying I am 0.3% Filipino and Austronesian. 
I have never heard of that, <laughs> but I know what Filipino is. And after that, it is saying I am 0.2% Indonesian, Thai, Khmer, and Mayanama. All right. And after that, it is saying just 0.1% broadly Chinese and Southeast Asian. So that is why I'm so glad I did this ancestry test because how else would I even have had the idea I was part Asian? Um, again, I, I, we have no history of any Asian. Like that must have been from honestly, I assume the Caucasian person in my family must have been biracial with the Asian before they probably met my black ancestors because there is no idea of anybody even being Asian in my family. So that was the biggest shocker in my opinion. And it's just like, wow. Apparently people saw something in me that I didn't even see in me my whole life asking me am I black and Asian and come to find out I am part Asian. So that already made the test extremely worth it to me because how else would I have known, you know? All right, so moving on to the other category in the east asian and native american um part of the test it is saying i am 0.5 percent north asian and native american so they broke that down into 0.5 percent native american and 0.1 percent broadly east asian and native american so yeah um, and all right, so the last two parts of the test are just, I guess, um, things that they can't really put their finger on. But I checked the test when I first got the results, right? And I checked it again today, and it actually came back with more information that they found in my ancestry. So, um, that's basically what's at the bottom, and I'm gonna read that to you guys right now. So it says 0.3% is trace ancestry. It says, we detected traces of the following populations in your DNA. Read more about your trace ancestry in the frequently asked questions. And I'm not gonna read all that stuff to you guys, but basically um, they traced, after the fact of me getting my original results to now, um, more of me being basically South Asian, it just says 0.3% broadly South Asian. So basically I'm assuming this is more information that they recently found with my DNA since um, originally sending me the results. So um, more Asian is inside of me that they found. So this is the last 0.3% of my results. And this is actually something new that I did not see originally when I got my results. So I'm really glad I just filmed this video now because it came back with more information of my DNA. And it says for the, um, what is it called? It basically traced my unassigned 0.3% finally to a country and, um, I'm going to let you guys know that right now. And they basically traced me to Jamaica. So right here it says, again, I'm going to try and put these results on the screen, I promise. But if I can't, just trust me when I say this. It says, although it is likely you had ancestors who lived in Jamaica in the last 200 years, we have not been able to identify the specific regions in Jamaica where your ancestors may have lived so so basically the unassigned 0.3 percent that i saw you know two weeks ago they finally traced that to a country i guess where um some of my recent ancestors were and they traced me to jamaica which explains a lot because my first ever solo trip i don't know if it was just me being excited or just me just being excited but as soon as i ever went to jamaica which was again my first ever solo trip or trip period out of the country i felt like that place was my long lost home and come to find out especially recently 
they found out that my ancestors were Jamaican. Uh, well, at least like the unassigned part that they didn't give me earlier was traced to Jamaica. So that is just crazy. <laughs> and I'm just like in awe of everything I just read you guys. Um, although I've seen these results again, like two weeks ago, I saw these results two weeks ago and I haven't really checked them since until today. The whole Jamaica thing was actually a shock to me. So I was really happy to see that. But um, yeah, it's just, okay, now I'm ready to get emotional, you guys. It's just like a shock. And I really, really, really urge anybody who is in the States, I don't wanna cry. I really, really urge anybody in the States who especially is black, please buy this test. Like, I know people are weird about like whatever information being used on whatever like I could care less like about those conspiracy theories or whatever they do with it it doesn't affect me paying my bills or going to work or anything like I could care less you know um but I don't want to mess up my makeup but just like actually knowing my culture as a black person is like unexplainable because you always like I don't know. It's like you don't know until you like realize you're missing out. I need a towel. Okay, I had to get a towel, y'all, because I'm like about to cry. And I told y'all I've seen these results or like majority of the results already, but it's just like, I don't know. Like people don't know what it feels like as a black person to not know your culture or anything. And I've always like envied people who like, you know, have culture and live in America because they're either expats or, um, you know, even just like Caucasian people, they always know like either they're Italian or French or Irish or stuff like that. And black people, we have nothing. Like we have absolutely nothing. And it's just like, I don't know, I feel like a baby y'all, but it's just like knowing that you actually come from specific places and I think it's because I travel a lot I'm just like so determined to like actually experiment and explore these places and like I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't want to cry I don't want to cry because I actually want to film more videos today <laughs> but for those of you who are watching my channel and you guys can feel the way I feel. The hundred dollars it costs for this test is nothing to actually know like where you come from. And I don't know, some people don't care, but I care. Like this is like life changing to me. And I can tell my children, I can tell people with confidence from now on that oh yeah, I'm this. Like I really I don't know like it's just one of the best things I ever did it is truly one of the best things I ever did so I'm trying to like suck this up you guys I'm so sorry uh, give me a second all right so yeah uh, let me try and suck this up so yeah I don't want to end this video on like a sad note, but it's more like a proud note for me. Like I know I'm getting very emotional, but I'm emotional because I actually know where I come from and I can probably say that to people from now on instead of being confused or just like being ignorant and listening to word of mouth, you know, like every, in my opinion in the States, everybody wants to say, oh, I'm Native American, whatever, whatever. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't believe nobody when they say they're Native American, because, like, whatever. Like, I'm sure we all are, honestly. Like, at that point, to me, I'm sure we all are. But it's just, like, again, I just kind of want to, like, end this video with a message, especially to my African-American people out there watching. Um, please get this test if you want to know with confidence what you are 
and I'm urging my parents to actually get the test so they can know exactly where they're from because uh, my lash is still wet y'all all right wrap it up okay Whew. all right so I'm gonna try to wrap this up I'm congested because I like just got emotional but yeah hopefully y'all can hear me um, but yeah, I'm like really urging my family to get the test because yes, I'm made up of my parents But I want to know what they are like. Where's this Asian? Where's this Caucasian? Like who's what you know, like I really want them to know for the betterment of themselves I feel like as an african-american you have the right to know what you are because everyone else knows who they are and We don't like we don't and I don't blame that on anything like what happened happened in the past like I don't care I mean we care but I mean like we have to get over those things you know or we at least have to accept those things that's what I mean but even though I you know um I don't know it's just like you don't know until you know and I just again really urge all of my african-american viewers to please get something like this i don't care if it's um ancestry.com or 23andme i prefer 23andme because everybody i was watching on youtube was using the 23andme and i just like the way it worked better from the results i saw so yeah but um i'm gonna wrap this up you guys <laughs> i really don't want <clears throat> can barely talk okay y'all can tell I'm emotional but I really don't want to make this a sad video I'm really not sad it's just I'm very emotional and proud so again I'm just very emotional and proud to like actually know my heritage and actually tell people I know where I come from and actually visit these countries because y'all already know I solo travel a lot and that was mainly why I wanted to know because I'm so much around culture and even in the states like everybody knows their culture except really black people you know so I just felt like it was my time to claim my own I cannot talk oh my god every time I get emotional I cannot speak like my nose just stuffs up and I can't speak <laughs> but y'all can feel me right y'all can feel me so yeah um it's just i did it for me and i feel like the fact i travel so much i just really wanted to know i really really wanted to know and i feel like i'm of the age where i should know it makes me feel like why doesn't everybody do this especially why doesn't most african-american people do this like the information is out there and I'm always a person who thrives off of knowledge and learning and information. And it's just sad to know that other people just could care less about their own self, honestly. Like, this is for me. And I really, really just wanted to share this for you guys. Excuse the noise. I don't know what's above this fucking hostel. I think there's a tree branch or I don't know what. But, yeah. So again, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up and I'm gonna try and get my emotions together, <laughs> okay? But I highly recommend 23andMe, especially if you are African American. Like, I say that with my whole heart and you guys saw how emotional I got and I always get emotional reading that. Like, it's just crazy to know nothing and now you know Pretty much everything like it's like i knew a different side of me i didn't know you know all right so i'm gonna stop talking because apparently my congestion is not getting better until i get off of the screen and just stop talking about it so yeah Ugh. anyways you guys um yeah i'm here in costa rica and i just really really wanted to make this video for you guys and I wanted to be basically while I was here because, you know, different culture, heritage, it goes hand in hand. And I felt like it would just be more of a cooler video to make while I was here. So, um, again, I give this test a 10 out of 10. 
don't believe the hype when people talk about oh your dna will be used for whatever like i don't give a fuck and why do people even care like do you know the waivers that you sign even when you open up a new iphone like people need to stop bitching about bullshit that they hear and don't do research about like it doesn't affect me doing anything in life people having my information like please take my information that's what i told everybody who has something to say when i did this i'm like well they could have it like what the fuck like i'd rather have my own heritage than people doing god knows what with my spit like whatever so um oh yeah i kind of wanted to talk about what you do in the test it's very self-explanatory like you can look it up but basically you get the little kit and you could buy it in target i actually saw it in target after i bought it and it was i think probably like ten dollars extra so i don't know if you don't want to wait for it to come in the mail just buy it in target but it's only a hundred dollars and all you do is spit in the little thing and mail it back it's already paid for and you say you get your result well they say you get your results in like a few weeks and i got my results in a few weeks like i think i got my results in two to three weeks actually and it's pretty quick so again um this pretty much changed my life and it made me see a whole different side of me that i didn't know and wasn't aware of so um that's just my experience and i guess i appreciate you guys for watching this video i really hope you guys um buy it or at least learn something about me or either hopefully learn something about yourself if you purchase the test um i definitely told my parents if they don't buy this before christmas this will be their christmas gift because i'm even interested in knowing like their own heritage you know for their own purpose it's just like why would people reject the knowledge of knowing about themselves you know it's just acid to me honestly but aside from that um trust me you guys i'm happy i'm not sad i'm just like congested because i was tearing up and everything but i'm about to um check out of this video and i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really enjoyed this i would say this is probably my most passionate video i have made yet and will probably make for a while and i really really hope you guys try this out so um, again, I will see you guys in my next one and peace out from Costa Rica. Thank you for watching. Bye.